Hey, this is Bruno. I'm uh, hand-holding it this time around. And I am just starting a task real late in the day. I'm uh, trying a 500 kilometer task. I didn't launch until after two o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm gonna have to make some fantastic time or else I'm not gonna make it. But uh, the day is just beautiful. The uh, conditions are good up higher. Down lower, it's a little bit tougher, especially in the valley, but over the mountains, it seems like it's going well. And so far, it's not overdeveloping. If you look, right now, it is 2.15 in the afternoon. And uh, I'm at 13,000 feet. And then this is to the west, towards Ely. This is more towards the south, my direction. But uh, I should be able to get up to cloud base, which is going to easily take me to 17, 18,000 feet. Then I've got some blue holes, but I should be able to make it just fine. And if I can keep my speed up, I might be able to still make it back before it completely overdevelops and blows up. I'm now cruising on task. Again, this is a real late start, and it took me forever to get up high, but I'm now up uh, around 16,000 feet. That's looking east towards Cedar Valley. And I'm heading south, but uh, I've got a long way to go. But at least I have some altitude, and we'll see what happens. So this is what a day's supposed to be like. The uh, forecast showed that we would have high clouds. Uh, concerned about overdevelopment, but it's not happening. And uh, lots of cloud streets over the mountains. And luckily, I made my course so that way it would be right on task with the mountains. So that way I would get cloud streets. So currently uh, 14,000. And my ground speed is 104 knots. Indicated is about 80, 85 knots. And my first turn point is just up here in these mountains. And that will get me my silver distance. I needed to get my silver badge, that way I can qualify to fly contest, so I'm doing this. But it's right on the first uh, course line for my 500 mile triangle. And I'm looking this way, which is my second leg, and it is not overdeveloping. It's looking beautiful, the clouds are high. Still uh, still building, but not overdeveloping, so I'm, I'm really excited. This is one of the most spectacular thermals. I had to get it on video, or else people wouldn't believe me. And we're showing 18. <laughs> 18 knots. <laughs> My average right there is showing 12 knots. Take a look at the altitude. Oops. Looks like I need to fly through some Virga, which is very common in this area. I'm currently at 17,100 feet. If you look in that direction, that is Richfield with the airport. And I've got this little area in between the Virga and Marysville is on the other side. And I see sunlight on the other side too, so if I have to, I, have, I can get up high there and then come back here. I might also see if, once I get down to Marysville, if I can go around this on the east side of this Virga. But we'll see. All right, 
right, I just turned Marysville, which is down there. And now I've got to get past, back through the Virga, as you can see, but uh, this little gap actually has some lift in it, so I'm going minimum sink. It's luckily towards course line. And uh, I'm gonna shoot through the Virga and then keep going towards Huntington Road, which is kind of close to Price, Utah. This Virga right here that I need to fly around. Actually, I'm right on course. But uh, luckily it only takes me right to the side of it. And then the good news is beyond that, which is in my course line, I have plenty of sunshine, so I'm not worried at all. And I am five miles from turning my next turn point, which I call Huntington Road. I wanted to make it something significant, but uh, didn't find anything, so I just found a bend, a bend in the road and just went with that. But here we are. Right in front of me is Price, and that over there is Spanish Fort Canyon. If you look out here, that's towards Colorado, and there were some cloud streets going out that direction. It's just a spectacular day. I mean, you, you can't be afraid of rain, and uh, a lot of rain and virga and clouds still have lift in them. And uh, just stay high and have a good turn point. And always have a landing option, and it should be good. Okay, I'm on my final glide. And uh, I've got uh, 52 miles to go. Unfortunately, the record, to beat the record, I'd need to do that in 18 minutes or under. I'm not going to have it, but at least I get home. That was more important than pushing it. I wish I could have uh, beat the record, but that just means I get to try it again. So, still lots of pretty clouds over there. The clouds over by me are starting to break apart. So anyway, I'm just doing a, uh, a nice calm. Let's see, 105 knot ground speed final glide for the last 50 miles. I'm on final glide. And these are just the, the small foothills to the southeast of Cedar Valley. Looks like I'm getting a little bit off of them. Right now it says I'm 200 feet over overreaching my pattern altitude. You can see that most of the valley is pretty cut off from the sun. Actually, it's nice and lifty, no problems. It's actually a little bit of Mamatis clouds right in front of me, but uh, looks like it's north of the airport, so no big deal. It's so just a nice, tranquil final from, what was it, 50 miles out. I did do a couple of turns at one point in some pretty decent lift, but uh, it was just to give me a little bit of breathing room. I figured since I wasn't going to beat the record, I might as well just enjoy a casual stroll in instead of a nail biter, barely making it in. So, anyway, the airport is five miles out. I'm going to go in and land. I have to admit, gliding is so freaking fun. It is awesome. But uh, if you haven't tried it yet, get out here. Go take a ride with somebody, and you'll see what I'm talking about. See you later.